Hi, it's Chris. Welcome to LearnGrasshopper.com. Today I'm going to present how the future of 3D product configurators will look like. In this video, you will see how engineers can create own product configurators and use them, for example, to string analysis of a frame structure or a facade design of a building tower. You will also get access to one of the configurator that you can test for yourself and see all the benefits. I will also show how easy you can share your Grasshopper scripts with non-technical stakeholders to access the power of parametric design via any web browser. Let's get started. Lately, all businesses have been seeking ways to automate tasks related to sales, design, and manufacturing workflow. One platform that has made this process simple and more cost effective is ShapeDiver, which is also a sponsor and partner of this video. Maybe you wonder right now what ShapeDiver is. ShapeDiver is an online platform that allows users to upload and share Grasshopper files, which can be automatically translated into cloud application. This enables the creation of web-based tools like 3D product configurators that can be embedded into external websites and connected to external systems. Okay, let's put it easy. Just like YouTube is an online platform for hosting and sharing video files, where users upload the videos they record with their phones or professional cameras, ShapeDiver is an online platform for hosting and sharing Grasshopper files, where users upload the Grasshopper files they have created with their lap laptops or any workstations. This way, other stakeholders such as clients or other colleagues from our work can access them without needing to have specific software license or any Grasshopper experience. ShapeDiver is becoming increasingly popular among professionals, particularly in the AAC industry, where Grasshopper has been widely adapted. However, these tools are now rapidly expanding into other industries, such as interior design, furniture, jewelry, making ShapeDiver a valuable tool for a wide range of professionals globally. All right, so we know theory, we know what software we are going to use, Let's go to a practical examples. I had the pleasure of testing Optinave, which is an online tool created by ConstruSoft, a leading Spanish supplier and developer of BIM software. This is a free web application for calculating and optimizing the design of industrial warehouse type metal structure in accordance with Eurocode provisions. Everything is based on a Grasshopper algorithm that uses Caramba 3D as a structure analysis engine and ShapeDiver as a web visualization engine. In short, Caramba 3D is a structure analysis plugin for Grasshopper. With Caramba, engineers can perform complex structure analysis on their digital models directly within Grasshopper. ShapeDiver is gathering all the scripts in one place and creating beautiful user interface. Let's jump to this configurator and see all the possibilities. Optinave can be open in any type of the browser. You can change the language from Spanish to English and you will see the whole the frame structure with all dimensions that you can turn off or switch on. On the left, you can see all the parameters that are definition of uh, this frame structure. In the back end is, every, of course, Grasshopper and this all the parameters are available in the Grasshopper script. So you can change your length, your width. Of course, you can change all the braces, number of braces uh, and even type of a, br uh, of a rooftop. So, for example, this from the one uh, slope. Uh, further, you can change the steel grade of the material and also the profiles that you like. So this was the first uh, tab. The second uh, tab, uh, which will be with the wind calculation. So when you click on that, so you will see that there is a, a map of Spain will appear with the area where you are designing your structure. So you can choose uh, from the table uh, here or the area which you are you are designing and from Eurocode this uh, areas of your uh, winds on your structure will be defined in the colors and particular area will be shown so you can change all the direction of a wind. The third tab 
is about snow loads. So here, if you click on the snow loads, the second map of will appear. And the same, based on the Euro codes, you can define position of your building and define your additional load for snow. The fourth uh, tab is used for additional forces like maintenance load or permanent load. Okay, so when we have all the parameters, we can go and click on the calculate based on every uh, single detail. So you will get the total weight based on this steel that you choose. So here is a 6.2 uh, tons with all the profiles and utilization. And you can see the envelopes of the bending moment or shear forces or normal forces like in this case. Let's optimize a little bit structure. Let's change the grade of the steel to, to steel as 355. So you can see that we have reduced the uh, uh, about one ton of the materials. On the right tab, you will see uh, all the reports that actually can be used for generating what loads we've been using. Further, you can take your design uh, to the next uh, softwares so you can generate the XML file. So here you will see the XML file that you can actually take to your another software that for made for calculation or even generate the IFC model. You can give your email address and the IFC model with the steel grade and the profiles will be generated. Below you can find the link to this free tool and you can test this configurator for yourself. Okay, so now let's go through the process how we can export our Grasshopper files and put them into ShapeDiver platform. ShapeDiver plugin can be installed from the package manager from Rhino 7. You can just do go there and download the last latest version. You can also do it from Food for Rhino. After installing this uh, software, you will get a bunch of new components that can you use. So let's go to the practical example here. We have some main geometry of a tower with the facade. Uh, here we can some play with some parameters like floors quantity and the floors height and the floor radius. So the results will get a really nice tower so you can see all the parameters. So here we have some baked uh, geometry. So this facade uh, it looks like and it's really important right now to define the uh, export geometry attributes and all the materials. These three things are really important to define because this is what we are going to send and make visible to see this in the ShapeDiver platform. When we have our Grasshopper file ready, we can go to ShapeDiver website when we can create our account and upload Grasshopper model. We can play with some parameters. You can also show some uh, additional shadows, play with the, a little bit with the automatic color adjustment and play with the same parameters. So you can see that this floor radius and floor quantity that we had in Grasshopper, now we have in ShapeDiver platform. When your design is ready, you can export file. Here you can download the Rhino file and open in uh, Rhino. Uh, you can see that there is the new design here in Rhino when you can click on the baked element on every each facade and get all the parameters. ShapeDiver gives also various ways to share models with other stakeholders. So first possibility is export as a public model in the edit mode and that you can share the link with anyone. It will be also available for everyone who has the access to the ShapeDiver website so you can see your design. So this is the first, uh, first uh, way of sharing your uh, model so everyone can just have access to the, all the parameters. Second way of that is as a share it as a private uh, model in the edit mode and active the uh, link sharing. Only people with the link can access the file. So this model will be not visible on the ShapeDiver official website. It will be private, but you can just share it with people who want to uh, have access. The third one with private mall with no link sharing and share securely with other ShapeDiver users. You can also create your company members and on the platform, which includes further ways to collaborate and share models with own team. Additional option is we can go to save state. 
that you can actually save your design and share it with your team. So here we have some parameters that defining this tower, we are saving it as a state number one. Uh, we are now changing some uh, parameters, we are making this tower higher and we can save this uh, state and make a state two and easily we can just send it to our colleagues as a, our proposal for the design so we can even more collaborate. Now I will show the last feature, attribute visualization. Each element in a model can be inspected and users can list the attributes stored in the element that they are value. This feature is available through the selected element attributes option. In addition, Subshape Diver offers an attribute visualization mode, which allows the quick creation of analysis model. This model displays the values of specific attributes according to a color gradient over the entire model. This feature is especially important for architects who need to access essential attributes. For example, in the facade mode, the facade panel can contain a panel ID attribute, panel type, or dimension. This information is easily accessible through the platform select element attributes option. Similarly, floors elements can contain a floor area attribute, which is also readily available to users and can be visualized in the gradient colors. ShapeDiver plans to simplify interoperability between the platform and various CAD and design environments in future releases. In this video, I presented how you can download CAD files together with Rhino files from a ShapeDiver model for further work in other software environments. However, the next iteration of ShapeDiver will allow for direct data transfer between an open ShapeDiver model and active sessions in, for example, Rhino or Adobe Illustrator and potentially more and more software clients. In conclusion, ShapeDiver is a powerful platform that empowers engineers to create and share 3D product configurators with stakeholders across various industries. As demonstrated in this video, ShapeDiver is uh, increasingly being adopted in the AAC industry due to wide adaptation of Grasshopper, a popular parametric design tool in this industry. Moreover, ShapeDiver's user-friendly user interface enables non-technical stakeholders to take part in the product's design by using simple control such as wrench sliders, text inputs, drop-down lists, and colors. This greatly improves collaboration and can lead to better products. There is a free version of ShapeDiver that you can start using right now. But if you would like to unlock the full potential of ShapeDiver and purchase a designer, designer plus or business plan, use a coupon code that will give you 10% off of any plan to the first 10 people who will redeem it. For more information, check out the link under this video. For more information and guidelines, visit the website of the partner of this video. Of course, shapediver.com and the forum where you can find all the help. That was all for today. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one.